What's happening everyone, my name is Peacestreak and welcome to Dying Rumpa 2. As many seen for the last video, we start off as a way to help bring everyone together at, well, Byakuya decides to throw a party for all of us to help us, well, not kill each other. But, unfortunately, tragedy had struck and Byakuya was killed. And now, we are forced to investigate. So, we are given the Monokuma file. It shows... Byakuya's end. And he was going to tell us more about his past! As I stated earlier. Victim... Discovered. Dining hall. Old building. Hotel Mirai. Eleven thirty PM. This wasn't supposed to happen. Ten times? Who would do that? Ten times. Between throat. Abdominal region. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. For injuries, no chemicals. So he wasn't poisoned, but it was stabbed to death. So, Yakuya really is dead. Damn it! You promised there wouldn't be one victim! Why'd you end up being one? Now, I'll never know what you're gonna say to me. Was he really gonna talk about what happened the last time in Hope's Peak, the first Hope's Peak Academy? Danganronpa, the first Danganronpa game? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way, just because he said a lot of things through his things doesn't mean that he was a traitor. What am I thinking? So one thing, Yakuya couldn't have been a traitor. I don't think he was. Anyway, we need to ex carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Okay, so the first off. Okay, this is new. Well, oh, the music. We have to talk to everyone and investigate everything. Gundam Tanaka? Yeah! Ah! Uh, hound here! Hound hell earring! Answer my call! Impossible! Are you still looking for that earring? Okay. Hachime is. 
looking for earring. You. It's not a mere earring. It's a hellhound earring. What does it look like? Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Oh, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched fur, uh, red, blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an errand to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound Earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. And where that even. It's a Pomeranian? Is that really about a freaking Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor, so it might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it transpired! Such a clever little bobble! Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it! Ah! Here! There it is! It fell between the floorboards. Well, that's convenient. I have found it! Truly, this is the Hellhound Earring! <laughs> I see! Good for you! Let me ask. How? However, how do I recover it? Oh. I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I, were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then, maybe you should just give up? What? Give up? What? The world? I meant to give up the earring. You! Fool! Have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if a human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die! But if even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being am I being scolded? Fine. <laughs> It was foolish to me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world! You want to say you're back by any means necessary? Well, his true determination is truly inspiring. It'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Gaps in the floorboard. That's another... That's another... One. Let's see here. Dishes. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. So food is not related to the incident. Oh, uh, here. Such a huge table. There's nothing much out of the ordinary. What about you, Ma Mahiru? A hero? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is this what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible! I mean, Bianca's alive and well, and then something awful happens. A hero feels terrible. Well, all of us would be. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined! You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. Well, we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which, which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If I only had acted calmer during the blackout, Bianca might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. If she acted calmer during the blackout? Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good would come of it. Jeez! Ain't you by a boy like isn't like me at all. Got it? Hey Hachimi! Oh, hey. Oh. hey Hachimi, forget what I said. Got it? That's 
fine. Got it. Mm. I can't become burned to anyone. I have found a clue. Really? What is it? A clue? Hey! Photos! What's I took before before the blackout, remember? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's right, because she took pictures of everyone else. Cheese snap. That's right. Oh yeah! The pictures! Hmm. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please! Um... Let's see. Is this photo... No. Hmm... And this one. That's where Biakuya is. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? What is it? Is something wrong? Hmm... Yakuya was... Okay. I knew it. Yakuya... Yeah, he was more like an obs He was observing. He was more like on, a, on one of the wall- near one of the walls. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? One underneath the monitor? Hmm. Yeah? So that doesn't make any sense. So he was standing far away from the table. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thi thing. It'd be hard to understand for them photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But, would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me! Got it! Leave it to me! That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that's decided. You better do your best! You better work hard on your investigation too! How much longer are you going to plan to stand around? Do you understand? Yeah, we are. I know, but it's good that she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Okay. That's not, that's not a truth bullet? Let's look under the table. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Okay. of table. It's the lamp, right? It looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. Antique and heavy. Power core was connected to the outlet so it must have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that stands on me, that stands out to me. So, now's not the time for me to flinch. Gotta do it! I loud shout as if to encourage myself and quickly looked underneath beneath the table. Rust, hang it. What? There was, there was tape under there! And during the stinging pain back of my eyes, I sh slowly shifted my gaze towards Biakuya's body. Biakuya Tamaki, ultimate affluent progeny 
was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I could do right now, for Byakui's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Something's stuck at the back of the table. Duct tape under the table. There seems to be paint applied to the on sticky side of the tape. Oh, that's right, it's green. Wait a minute. Can that be glow in the dark paint? The body is collapsed face down on the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. Look like he was. According to the Malakuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Update truth bullets. There's a knife there. Hold on. Actually, yeah. Yeah, because Byakuya checked everyone before... Yeah. Byakuya checked everyone before they came in. Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone, thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all this confiscated dangerous items are supposed to be placed in a dural, dural woman case. It's possible they stole a knife in this case. But wait. No, it can't be, because Byakuya put the key in the other case. They hid it somewhere. One more thing about this knife that's strange. Is this the same glow? In dim light. Glowing paint on the knife. Night vision goggles. What's this? Looks like binoculars, but 
Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Huh? Then what are they? Perhaps... Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock stealth defense kits too. See? See that supermarket stock. Self defense kits. That's the case. Did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Bloodstain. The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. It's a lot of blood. It's blood spattered everywhere. Maybe the inner side of the... drag marks yeah because he was on the farthest from that table let's say the table has been added to the juice bullet section I'm sure I've pretty much investigate what's under the table despite the fact it's just me I think I'm pretty working pretty hard just a little getting close to the truth I don't think I've talked to Nagito or Mikan I'll talk to Mikan next Before you start, why well, don't you calm down a bit? Hey, calm down first. I'm careless enough as it is. It's pretty obvious how you felt. It's pretty obvious how you felt earlier. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ah, <gasps> uh, crap. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. um. Blackout slipped on, slipped on the carpet. Please erase it from your memory. Oh, please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sir. Sorry. Why? What about you, Nakito? Hey. Hey, Hajime. There's something I want to rub by on you. What is it? Before the blackout occurred, Byaku was in the dining hall with us, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. And if Byaku's dead body was discovered after the blackout... Don't you think he died during the blackout? But... He died... during blackout... But why under the table? Even if, if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't that confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is the key to solving the mystery. The 
There's no way I would know. It was so dark during the blackout. I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Seem impossible. Hearing is still possible. You got something there. Her something? Are you talking about her? Heard what? Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, it's just as Mario said. Where was Dan? Yeah, for the blackout. It's really far away. Okay, so we have to show up. So my hero, my hero showed the photos again. Yakuya was farthest from the table before blackout. Whoops. Got it. You see this? So just get along with it, Ray. I know. So that's not it. But who do I need to talk to? Oh crap! I didn't want to see that. Okay, so Nagito, what do you say? Hmm. Perhaps... What the? Hey, the drill woman case is open! How did that get there? Oh, that's Biakuya's. What is this? Off odd things in this case. Light stick. Pepper spray. Something's open. Is that a gun? It's what? A small key to the other The other case was in the office. So no one else took the key. The key to that drone in case is right here. It's unlikely to a murder weapon. Not from the other case. Which means the weapons inside at Durlin weapons inside the Durlin case aren't related to Bayakuya's murder. I mean so I still don't get it. Why did Bayakuya have this Durlin case in the first place? A case packed with all the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case. Well, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Hmm. Could he have known something was gonna happen before then?
And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. In one case, he's been to the truth bullet section for a handbook. I can't get out of here. Okay. Wait a minute. A lot of tasty looking party dishes in India, and nobody really eat that much. What? Uh, nope, I don't want to see that. What about the AC? Air conditioner? Could it be? Hey, all of you, why can't you look a little more grown up? The air conditioner beeped before the blackout. Did someone use the air conditioner? This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner's remote control. Timer is set to 11:30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. It was. So that means. The mechanical sound before the blackout probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration are as bad as I thought. AC tires bad to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, now we can. Let's... Hajime. Uh, Hajime, a moment? What is it? Hey. When we were finished with the investigation, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might talk might not talk me out of caution. Well, we've been told one of us is a killer. Can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Holt's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. It's time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'd be a great help. Special feelings, huh? So, what do you say about being similar? I don't think I agree. Now then. I guess for now, we should search inside of this old building to listen to what others have to say. Not just the dining hall, but we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. Hmm. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Where should we start? Mm. Excuse me. There's Sonia. Um. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? Um. It is strange, no? Oh, it's different color. Perhaps? Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing. If that happens, you can run away. It's like a barrier, just like 
find out plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> you know about getting, keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I'm ashamed of myself. Okay then. Fire doors. That's another... Let's see here. Anything happened in the kitchen? Because all the knives and forks were taken out. Nakato's there. Chinese meat. <laughs> well, guess that's about it. I haven't been able to get meat on pace. Let's look at I get it, you don't have to repeat yourselves. Where'd you get it? <laughs> I just knocked him out. Apparently he killed the cow at the which his bare hands brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> It's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his they look like they specialize in punching things. I don't mm -hmm. want to either. On towns near Omoya, Azibu, all countries, things like that. So never mind. Man. Guess this meat's gone to waste since it's all those happened right when the party started. Once we ate my food were Akane and Pico. She took portions for herself. Oh, any food, not my food. Eh? Don't say that. I, I worked so hard to cook a World's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them! To tell you the truth... That there's really a killer out there. Yeah! I'll probably never forgive that killer! He's scary when he's mad. Yeah, definitely. So, party dishes... Only... Trying... What about you, Nakito? Hey! Since we've come all this way, let's investigate this area just for the heck of it. There's a chance it might be sort of a clue here. I know one clue. The equipment list. Piyaki must have confiscated all dangerous items in the kitchen's equipment list. Hmm. Well, just from reading through the list, it looks like the knife next to Bayako's body didn't, didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? And how did the killer get past Beyond Crew's body check? That's weird! Strange, isn't it? I mean, didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the path? Okay, yeah. That's the case. They probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey! Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing, even the portable stuff stove for cooking hot pots. But all this stuff doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I agree. Truth bullet. Hmm. What about you, Taro Taro? Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Taro Taro? Uh. <laughs> At first, I thought it was just the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, always a splitch pack too! And then, I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way towards the dining hall. Which place was big black- the, the, that place was pitch black too! It's like pitch black everywhere! Could you have used the kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 uh, no! That's impossible! This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it has been directly affected by the blackout. I see, so I guess it's not possible. Since you since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use that as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Hmm. Guess I'm pretty much investigating the kitchen for now. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, the kitchen is done. Nakito's right there. Hey! Yeah, I know that. 
Is there anything in the storage room? This storage room is really dusty and dark. Well, my hands were full of cleaning the dining hall, so I didn't can even touch this room. Yeah, it's cobwebs. So there's no way I can stay here for a long time. Irons. These irons? Looks like they were recently turned on. Three irons and storage. Hmm. Guess as I thought. Your eyes don't miss this thing. When I was looking for Biakuya after the back out, I was looking I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But that doesn't feel kind of sinister. So wait a minute, did ever? Hmm. Did someone put all the appliances on? Sinister? My hands are full clean, so his hands are clean. What about the stack boxes? <laughs> we don't have time to get through each or one of them, so I suggest we just yep. them along. Okay, so that's not it. What about the laundry hamper? Huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps a tablecloth? Huh? There's something on it. Blood on it. Could this be Biakuya's blood? Huh? A blood stain? Here. Come here, take a closer look. But it's too dark. I really can't see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. There this is clearly a blood stain. It's not the same one. Well. If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it. And it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Storage room tablecloths to add to the truth blood section of your handbook. Hajime. Hey, Hajime. How long are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate the other places already. I get it, you're right. Just one more thing. I guess that's all there is to it for this one. Whoa! Let's see here. Where is everyone else? Oh, there's Rock and there's Ibuki. I see. Apparently, I see. On the screen, Manson. Investigation should be done on foot. Yes. That's why I'm using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Oh, there's no reason. There's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hodgman. I just realized something. Does she know? Oh, she is. Oh. Are you serious? How'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear us. Even though Hodgman and I... She has good hearing. Hmm. <laughs> now I do have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If you hear it so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We 
You couldn't tell, but you've been able to f make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to you, Boogie. It'd be easy as fried rice with great. Whoa, what's with the, what's with the nose? Huh? <laughs> I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. I see. Easy as pie, except easy, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> I eat fried rice with, with onions and fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> she should make a metaphor with more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, anyway, can you tell us what did you heard? I've got it. Oh my god, take a bite. Yep. You. If you tell us, I'll let you buy Hajime later. Stop it! What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. First person raised voice was whom? My hero. Okay. <gasps> it's a blackout! Yeah. Next was Kazuchi's voice. Next was Ibuki. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Yeah. Ah, what a nice remark. I mean, the plant has its only charm. Just continue. Then there are three more. Vo the more voice. What? More voices. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Back to my hero. Ah, don't step on my feet! Yoko was next. What the hell? What's going on here? Yakuya was next. Th this is. Ow! Nakato. Ow. Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Makane. You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Sonia. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> That's right. All right. That's pretty much it. <laughs> all right, awesome. Praise me. Praise me. Give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nakito, say something to her. Hmm. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey, do you say some? What? Why did? Why did he say something like that? This is. Hey, what's going on here? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? This is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that, why don't we discuss it after we investigate a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, well, don't you think Ibuki's account for now is just an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yeah! Let me, embrace me! Let me bite ya! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Okay, so Ibuki's account has been added to the truth bullet section. Okay then. That's good. What about the bathroom? It's locked! Someone appears to be inside. I don't really know who's actually in there. Hey! Is someone in there? I knocked on the door and tried calling out whoever's on the other side, but... Hmm. There's no response. This is going nowhere. Yeah, let, let's check it out later. What about the office? Wait a minute. Hajime. Circuit breaker, huh? Might be related to the blackout. So 
So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Okay. The circuit breaker is up there. It must be the building's old circuit breaker. I got probably have because of this. I see. It doesn't look like someone someone did anything to it. So it was not tampered. Nothing else looks suspicious either. Okay. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it. Can't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right, even with a stepladder, there's no way you'll be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means, someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it! So Monokuma did it. Whoa! Oh, it's here! Actually, you idiots have no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... Um, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped this breaker. The killer did that, of course. So you turn the break. So you turned it off, back on, but not off. But how does someone as small as you can as reset the breaker? Hey, um. Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, yeah. my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled. Liar. It's. True. I'm serious. Wanna see? Wanna see a version of Monokuma with all his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque! <laughs> uh, no thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So cool! Still, don't you think Monokuma is such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he take first place! Not really. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well in that case, I'm convinced there's no way he'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped? Good question. Let's talk to everyone here. Maybe. Mizuchi. Hey, isn't Pico the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. <laughs> I don't think so. And when we were looking for Byakui after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... Like, when, when I got here, she was gone. I shouldn't say that's too out, out too loud or, more, or else Miss Sonia won't yell at me. Hmm. Because probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout in her advantage to kill Byakuya. Hey! Don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Well, I don't think so. Well, Monokuma didn't trip... For one thing, Monokuma didn't, didn't do it. Well, if you look at it, Hiko doesn't look as look tall enough. They're a woman case. So it contains all the dangerous items. Hey, maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. 
Byakuya had the key to this particular drill only case with him. Check it out! I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, isn't it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so, I should open it. This guy. It doesn't feel any remorse. See? See? It's open. Forks, knives, kitchen, iron screws, and various tools are all crammed inside. But it's not possible the killer took anything from here. No, it's not. Because the key to the case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. What about you, Pico? <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred and during that time, Byaku was killed. So she understand that she is the, that she is being suspected. Anyway, the circuit breaker is in his office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. That's right. Wait, supposed to be here? What? What? She was supposed to be here? I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. Okay, so she wasn't in the office. But why? We're just supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the room case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well... Well, that is... <clears throat> what is it? What happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Pico, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? <sighs> Seems it'll be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping on her forehead, Pico wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say for myself. I feel bad enough for Pico as it is. What does that mean? Huh? It means it's it, it is it cool? It, it, she didn't like run away or something? That's right. Cause if she ran away, she's obviously a killer. I'm also pot. I'm almost positive. Is it really what it is? Yeah. Here's also the AC remote control. Room conditioner office. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Timer here also set to 11:30. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? Can't be... Can't be a coincidence, right? Hmm... Now then... I guess we're done at the office. Don't you think so? We should get going now. I think so. Did you get food? I'm s I wonder. Yep. Did you get food poisoning? Looks like you've pretty much finished cooking around old building. Hey. So how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Byakuya's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so it might be good to check out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. I don't really mind looking there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be in danger? Hey. You mean I'm worried about you being the killer? 
be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. Well, obviously. It's like, instead of living with doubt with others, it's so much better to die believing in others. That's a good point. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know. I see. As I thought, you are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Really? All right. Let's get going to Byaku's cottage. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I really don't know how I'm supposed to react. When I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, are they trying? Oh! What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question! Gundam and... Uh... Chiaki. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Okay. Getting the so they're getting the earring. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? <laughs> How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. Hmm. That could be a possibility. So I thought it was important to check it. Well, that's not bad. I see. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on. Think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid down. I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byaku's body, right? That's right. Hmm. And the dining hall had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible the killer killed Biakui by stabbing him from beneath the floor? That can make sense because Byakuya was 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 face down. That can make sense. Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, hmm. I guess it's not possible to get the floor from the outside. Maybe there's something inside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from here. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility there's a hidden hole? Well... No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you cannot get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Hmm. Because if you get under the floor from the outside, there'd be only one logical suspect. The other person who didn't come to the party and also didn't have an alibi. Oh, Fuhiko. So... 
I suspect them too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from the outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuki came here. He did? Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey. What are you doing here? Alone in a place like this. Yeah, it's just my dog. Yep. I'm saying guard Samana Kuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Yeah, how diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Even if you pay me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. I didn't come in. Okay then. Huh. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report myself every time I want to go for a freaking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> Then leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. Does that happen? But why? Why did he come here? See? He probably wants to see a part. He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. Maybe. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey! He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Oh yeah, I have. Huh? When did we start talking about video games? Chiaki's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I see. Even though we really don't know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying that you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakuya's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will most assuredly reclaim the hell how dear is my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Not at all. Um. I guess now I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sink under the floor from there, I think. Also, yep. Fuyuko came not by long after the party started. Okay. That's a good reason to start from it. To start. There's Fuyuko. Huh? What the heck? Did I tell you to leave me alone? That's not, that's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? <laughs> of course I did. Apparently Byaku is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? You think I'm the killer? Oh, do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else is at the party. Okay. Huh? Hm. Checking my alibi, huh? Hm. Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during the time. So it was in his cottage. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Jeez. It's true that I went for a little walk, and then, just by chance, I ended up passing by the building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually joining the, trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Okay! Why would the heck I would do that? It's a, just a coincidence! Alright, I got it. <laughs> Okay then, his alibi's clean. 
Let's hope so. Because as of now, everyone's a suspect. All right. Now then, you must head over to Biakui's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. Okay, if I remember correctly, there's Biakui, 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 Biakui. Second house from here. Oh, wrong way. Second house this way. It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. Also, Nagido took a deep breath. Hey, Monokuma. Did you call me? Yay! Did you call me? Not Nagido. When did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma. I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer for my, by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Oh, I'd be born to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Biakui's cottage already. Well... This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is troubling! Ooh. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Va -va -va Vava Valuse? What does that mean? Clock? I'll leave the rest to you! That's new. Monokuma, Monokuma helping us. Okay. Why is it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. I guess you're right. Let's see here. <sighs> Yakuya. We'll never return, return to this room again. No, he wouldn't. Let's see here. The bed is bad. Nothing about it really catches my eye. Window. It's like the room, room's interior design is different from mine. Oh, nothing to worry about it. What the books? What's that? Envelope? To be Aquia? Who is it from? That's weird. There's no sender. That's pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. You're right. Let's see here. What? It said... Be careful. First kill will happen tonight. So someone who warned him? That's the letter. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is a warning. This is... A crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... Hey. This is why Biakui decided to suddenly throw a party. First kill will happen tonight because someone made this threat to Biakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all dangerous items. That's why.
He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone can monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be killed to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? But... He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey! Remember what Byakuya said? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? Right. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility. Just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret? If he had just told us... Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Hmm. If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. At this point, there'd be no there'd be no turning back. Sorry. I has messed up. So Byakuya tried to do something about all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I could think of. Hmm. Anyway. Whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank. It might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. What is that? Is someone getting really quiet? He doesn't want to believe one of us could be the killer. But still, we've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Briaco would react and was he received it, right? He wrote the letter. He planned to manipulate Biakwe and kill him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it! Who the hell would do that? Hey! Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked my hero a favor earlier, right? I think so. Yeah, I wanted to find out where everyone was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. What? I need some time alone. I like some time to collect my thoughts. I see. I understand. Hey! Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results for autopsy should be ready by now. So my hero's photos and Mikan's autopsy. Bye now. I'll see you later. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There's not much time left. I better hurry to the building. Right. Ma hey! Where's Ma what? Why is Minami there? Did I talk to her? Cruel. Oh yeah, might as well ask her about the old building's walls. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. The hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No. Now, how's not the time to fight about stuff like that? More importantly, do you know why the old building's walls are covered in, by iron plates? Mm -hmm. Iron plates? I covered them up so no one makes the mistake of going inside. Cause since it's a danger, since it's dangerous cause of renovation. Nami put up the iron plates. So Nami makes a mistake going in.
dangerous because of the renovation. Whoops. I see. The renovation. So that's why you cover them up. <laughs> because it's dangerous to go inside. Dangerous isn't supposed to exist on this island. <laughs> it wasn't supposed. This wasn't supposed to be. Then why did it get like this? Oh. Just because it's cool doesn't mean you just can't keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. You had to do this no matter what, damn it. Okay. After after talking to Mikan and Mihiro, then I will <laughs> Whoa! What the What the How is that what I'll voice just now? I think I know who. Fire hydrant's still there. Okay. Huh? I feel so lighthearted right now. <laughs> what? Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool, but what are you even talking about? Sure. What? <laughs> yeah. Now that you mention it, you said something like that short before, shortly after the party started. Jeez. However, if you think I've been angered by something like that, you've always been underestimating my nerve and patience. Oh. To do do all and achieve all with one presence of mind. That's the goal of one's true leader. Ooh. Pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. So you seen the bathroom door is shut from before the party started to go to after the blackout. So what I mean is And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Biakui's body was found. Okay. So, so I'm gonna occupy the bathroom. Party starting. Then unoccupied. That's about how long it lasted. We said it sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Can I look inside the bathroom? The bathroom seems open, I don't need to go time right now. This is she have to say anything else? Okay. We're what the? You get her? Sorry. <laughs> okay, I think everyone else would just say the same thing. So, Chiaki's out here. Hmm. Just as I thought, there's no way to, to get under the floor from inside the building. Maybe. So it's just as Nakito said. If that's the case, I should just give up on finding Gundam's earring. What about you, my, my, well, my hero? Hey! Hey! You're, you're here! Where the heck did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. Hmm. I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey. Well, just take a look at this. Okay. Um. So as you told me, you s so as you told me, these are the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. Right. Well, I did. This diagram was the result. So this was everyone's standing position for the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall.
diagram. I made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. That's actually pretty. That was actually pretty good. So you were out. So we were up front. Just as I thought, Bianca was standing at far distance from the table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. No, he couldn't have. What's the line extending from where the... What's that line extending from the table where Biakwe is killed? Desk lamp. I think trying to power cord in was a good idea. Power cord for the desk lamp? The cord is extending the table where Biakwe was killed, and that means. Hey! Since you divide something? It's not clear to me yet, but. Hmm. I guess you're right. I really didn't understand myself when I was trying. I have a feeling it's either. It's either a potential clue or a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Hey! Yes, please. I want to take a look at the diagram again. Um... So I thought. How do you move that far? The desk lamp. Hmm. Yeah, there should be an important clue. Do I have to look at the desk lamp? Antique lamp, rather heavy. Crap, I didn't... Oh, I didn't see... Hmm... What about Mikan? Um. Okay. What'd you find? Did you find anything? Well. Puncture wounds. Mikan. Investigated. Autopsy. Puncture wounds. So there weren't stabs. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. Diameter. I think I know what it is. It's okay, it's okay. Are you okay? No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what he wanted to say. Five millimeters in diameter, huh?
thin as an ice pick. I think I know what it is. Uh oh. Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long awaited class trial! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Oh, Mount. Oh, that's right. Mount. Mount Makunamore. Or whatever it is. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. That's what it Once is. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. A mountain with a carved in Monokuma's face at the central island? I think I know where that is. Right there. Oh boy. Half a huh? everyone's here. Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get there? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? It's like Mount Rushmore, as I stated earlier. No way. That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in this. You mean, what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> uh, I still can't believe he's dead. Blah, 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 blah. Oh boy, she's gone to a seizure again. Uh, what happened to Gundam and Fuyuko? What? Um, Where are they? I got it! I don't think so. No way! Oh hell no! There's no way I let him escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over here! Don't fuck with me! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey now! Come on now! If you keep acting violent, I might just beat you up! Hey! Hey! Where you go? What were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat desk that when that when Byakuya got killed. Uh, who the heck cares about that anyway? You! How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait. My hero, that's enough. You too, Fuyuko. Huh. Um. And I guess Rain for Gundam. What happened? I'm Sarah? right here. Now then, let us begin. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? Hey. It seems you noticed it too. Oh, Gundam has got his his urine back. That's good. But how did he get it? <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well now. All right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance into the trial field. Wait. Please wait a second. What's this? My, my, Monami, what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I... I, I... Wah, wah? Did you actually want to join in? You masochistic mascot! Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're in a bigger masochist than I thought! Special bleeding service! Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall now allow your special participation. Uh, See ya later! I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over! Huh? He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? Well, unfortunately, I would like to move on, but 
And it looks like it's all the time I have to take for this video. I went a little over my time like last time. But, yeah. This is all the time I have to take for this video. So, it looks like this is it. The class trial is beginning in the next episode. But seriously, who would want to kill Yakuya? And to be honest, I actually, I, I may have a I may have an idea what the, yeah, I may have an idea on what the murder weapon might be. <laughs> because it's very small and thin, like a skewer. But I may have an idea on who it might be, but I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to find out next time in the class trial. So, once again, that's going to be all the time I have today for this video. But, don't go away, we still have plenty of Daikon Rumpa 2 to look forward to more soon. So, stay tuned for more. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to super smash that like button. Leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video. And, don't forget to share it if you want to. And, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to get the latest content. So, once again... Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Speed Streak.